Yeah. <laughs> hold, hold. Uh, I was holding. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the first guy to cross the line here in a minute. Okay, 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 This month, Andy and I are taking on some old and new horror films and discussing our thoughts on these terrifying tales and movies of the macabre. This week, we grow a pumpkin head and dish on the 1988 classic film starring Lance Hendrickson, Jeff East, and a blink and you miss it, Mayim Bialik. Directed by special effects legend Stan Winston, this story follows a man who, after a tragic event, conjures the demon Pumpkinhead to stalk the troops of teens responsible for the accident. But does Pumpkinhead deliver on its promise of scares and thrills, or does it wither away like a forgotten jack-o'-lantern? Find out on this episode of Flick Flops. Pumpkinhead, 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 Pumpkinhead. Oh, Gary, what do we got ourselves? I only knew why we did that. I <laughs> dates back from a yeah. long time ago. <laughs> Oh, boy. Okay, let's get into the numbers on this bad boy. Pumpkinhead came out in 1988. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes has this thing sitting currently at 65 with the critics, 49 with the audience. It's fair-ish. Uh, it, it was made on a budget of $3.5 million, and I'm guessing a lot of that went to the uh, the alien-like creature created by Stan Winston. Yeah. Uh, box office receipts were about $4.4 million, so this was not a big... Uh, moneymaker floppy kind of written by uh, Mark Patrick Carducci and Gary Gerani. I'm guessing those names right. Directorial debut by Stan Winston, who was a special effects guru. As I mentioned, he was um, he's famous for the alien uh, creature, and he was a uh, back in the day. He was the man. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. I really come up with uh, Terminator, Predator. Uh, he was just the go-to guy. Practical, for... practical effects. And if you look uh, at this, you can kind of see Alien in it, right? Yeah, I thought these are one-trick pony, but you can see where this comes from. Let's talk ratings. So our ratings, uh, as always, I try to break down our rating system for everybody, just so you're you're clear, because we are the complete opposite of every other rating system in the known universe. In our world, the more ratings you have, the worse the movie is. So you want the least amount of whatever right. we choose. Normally it's a turd emoji for me and it's toilet paper for Gary. But with Halloween and being a, a horror kind of month, we're going to try to base these these next few episodes on what we're watching. So this being Pumpkinhead, our ratings are going to be Pumpkinheads or Jack-o'-lanterns or whatever uh, Gary designs and post. <laughs> <coughs> More work for Gary, but I like that. So our ratings for this one. I give this one, Gary, four pumpkin heads. Four pumpkin heads. I didn't quite go five. I don't think it's a complete turd, but I, it's it's close. Okay, I just thought that'd be fun to be totally uncomfortable <laughs> for a second. <laughs> just leave it in there. Uh, just stared. On this one, I gave it a four and a half. Yeah. Jack o' lanterns. I, Jack -lanterns, I can see that. Right? Punky heads, jack o' lanterns. I see. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. And four and four and a half. I mean, the, the movie doesn't hold up. Uh, Gary, you want to go down and do your list and bullet points, and we'll go from there. And we'll discuss later. So go. Uh, to me, this film did not age well. I know I saw it, but I couldn't quite remember a lot of details from it. And I think it's easy to see why. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to get a little hate from some people on this, but. Um, not good. The effects still mostly pretty good. Again, practical effects with Stan Winston. So the makeup effects of the creatures are the standout of the show. However, it's not enough to save the movie overall. I think the majority of the acting in this film is terrible. Uh, <laughs> Lance Hendrickson is good. Uh, I think one of the male teens out of the however many are on there, and maybe one of the female teens are not as bad, but the rest are simply atrocious. Uh, the pacing is god awful. The reasoning behind almost every single person's actions in this film are weaker than watered down near beer. Not that I have any experience with that. Uh, <laughs> it requires an absolute unreasonable amount of stupidity for the story to play out as it does. So much so that I was rooting on Pumpkinhead and hoped he'd just kill everyone and me included while watching it. 
Uh, I wanted to like this movie. I tried to forgive it because of how old it is, but it just landed in the never need to watch again pile. Yeah. And that pile is soon going to be doused in gasoline and set on fire. <laughs> Gary, you shouldn't hold back. You should really <laughs> tell us how you feel about this movie. Do you have a critic's response or a critic you want to read by any I chance? Two. Let's see here. So, Pumpkinhead, I found. <laughs> I have one too that I kept. There are just not that many in the Rotten. I'm kind of surprised, and I know I, I was too. I mean, of course, you have to figure the Rotten Tomatoes. You know, I don't know how old the site is. Twenty years old, maybe. Yeah. Um, does not date far enough back. There was no internet back then, and uh, whatever doesn't matter. And right. so, Anything. so it just wasn't a lot for me to look through. Uh, and, and maybe we end up with the same one. I'm not sure, but I've got Richard Harrington from Washington Post. I do. Oh gosh. Okay. okay, you go ahead. You read it. So I'll read it. But we both, I think, we both, uh, that's our highlight. Because yeah, I will read one after this. This is fine. Typically hollow and patchy. <laughs> the script is low par for the course. The acting close behind. Um, Normally, I try to look at something more positive. If it's a movie that I like, I try to look for one of the positive ones that kind of sums up how I feel. In this case, um, I know I'm gonna people are gonna hate this, but I just thought thought it was a crap fest, and I thought that uh, critic kind of exposed that pretty well. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's ex I, the same way. When I was reading through my, my reviews, I was like, he summed it up well. And if you and if you go on Rotten Tomatoes, you'll see there's only if you go into Rotten, there's only two actual critic reviews. Yeah, and a lot of them are just gives it bad reviews. Right. Right. Not even wasting her time writing anything. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, I, so like you, um, I don't have the bullet points laid out quite like Gary does. So we'll, we'll kind of go into discussion at this point. But Gary kind of nailed everything I need. I, I was thinking. I made some notes. I, I so wanted this film to be better. And again, it's one of these things we go back and retro, re we look at things through 2023 eyes. Yeah. Um, you know, we were fuck, what, 18 when this movie came out, 20 years old. Um, I remember uh, I this maybe take me back in time a little bit is I had I used to, we both used to work in video stores. I actually had a life size stand up of Pumpkinhead that I they were throwing out and I took it and put it in my <laughs> my bedroom for a while. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why I have had nightmares as a, as a kid. But anyway. <laughs> I always got a kick out of the idea of of the word pumpkin head, pumpkin head, pumpkin head. Mm -hmm. um, this is based on you know it's did you see it was based on a poem. No, no, I didn't Let actually me, do any research on this. I poem. did. Let me do some reading for you, Gary. Yeah, settle in for a moment. I'll read you this poem. This awesome. is what this movie is based on. They they wrote a script off of this longer than a haiku, but it's a poem. <laughs> Bear with me. Can't wait. It's a pumpkin head. It's a poem by a guy named Ed Justin, who I could find zero on, but I tried. But this is the poem. Keep away from pumpkin head unless you're tired of living. His enemies are mostly dead. He's mean and unforgiving. Laugh at him and you're undone. But in some dreadful fashion, vengeance he considers fun and plans it with passion. Time will not erase or blot a plot that he is brewing. When it's it's when you think that he's forgot, he'll conjure your undoing. Bolted doors and windows barred, guard dogs prowling in your yard, won't protect you in your bed. Nothing will from Pumpkinhead. <laughs> That's quite the Shell Silverstein. <laughs> that is where the sidewalk definitely ends, right there. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, there is no sidewalks in this film. There's a dirt path. Um, so yeah, 19 circa 1957. Yeah. God, who knows? Um, I, I like that. What was the second line to that? Cause it was, it, it took just oh, the first shit. two lines for me to crack up. Hang on. I, uh, I just closed out the window. Sorry. Talk uh, amongst yourself for a minute. It I'll pull something, it back up. something to keep away from him. If, if you, unless you don't like living. <laughs> yeah. Keep away from pumpkin head unless you're tired of living. Yeah, that's great. That's good right there. Um, that's kind of how I feel about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's Gary's review. Keep away from this movie unless you're tired of living. Quote. <laughs> you quote that shit right there. Oh, jeez. Um, so let me... Uh, I'll run down a few notes I have. Gary, stop yeah. me if this has gone too long and you want to just end the episode. I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, let's, 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 let's address the uh, thing in the the that you you glazed over quickly. Mayim 
Bialik. Ryan Bialik. Yeah. Bialik. Yeah. Makes an appearance. Uh, yes. I have a picture. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I did a little bit of homework here. I was going to bring it up in my notes. Uh, Gary, this is the shot here. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's All right. It. Right here. Yep. And this is the comparison. <laughs> wow. Looks exactly the same. <laughs> uh, uh, odd little fact. This was her screen debut, I believe. <coughs> Pardon me. I have a, I'm dealing with some sickness here. I'm down with the sickness, so the kids say. Uh, this was also someone. <laughs> I got to do this, Gary. I got to do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. This was uh, someone else's first uh, film. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, uh, let's do, let's do I this. love I love the research on this one because I I, I, not... I dug deep um, uh, right here. There Cynthia you go. Bain. There you go. This was, this was her because uh, it said in the credits introducing Cynthia Bain. And you might wonder, what did she go on to fame? What, what would we know her from? This what? is it. What this is actually it? <laughs> what? What's her highest rated film on? Uh, according to on, uh, Rotten Tomatoes, according to Rotten Tomatoes, it is uh, Pumpkinhead. Awesome. What's, it's uh, also her lowest rated film. Oh, it's also. Her I don't mean to knock on Cynthia Bain. I do not. <laughs> I, just, I thought I just whenever they say introducing somebody, you know, I, I, I oh, let's go see what else this person done. So we like Maya Bialik, who went on to this major success. Yeah. Cynthia did not. She did some television and I'm not knocking her. She also now does. Um, she does that. And she also I'll, I'll give her credit where credits do. Uh, I, I, I didn't want to do that there, but I'll show you this. She also now is uh she does uh teaches acting, uh, there in in Hollywood somewhere. Uh, Cynthia Baines Young Actor Studio. So there it is. I I'll throw that out there for you. Uh, do what you want with that. <laughs> That's the end of that. But I'm gonna leave this up just because I think this is enjoyable to have her behind me. Because I'm for just the... now watching. Oh <laughs> Big yeah, Big Bang Theory. So yeah. this is awesome for me. My my yeah. worlds are colliding. <laughs> Uh, on, on the note, real quick of uh, of Cynthia Bain, I do think that is the actress out of the females that I thought was not that bad. Yeah, because she played someone in a trance the most the most of the time. Maybe that could be it. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, I'll run through my notes quickly. Um, uh, when the kid's dad returns after the they, the motorcycle incident, uh, Lance right. Hendrickson returns. Uh, totally. Yeah. Okay. When he shows that this that again just catches my eye, he shows up. The guy's there. Hey, man, you know, over here, he comes upon his son laying there, uh, unconscious to dead. Who knows? But they never have the conversation, right? He just picks him up and gives him the the if the looks could kill look, and he just goes away. And then the guy yells, It was an accident, yeah, that was it. No, uh, how did this happen? Yeah, what did you guys do to him? Because I wasn't here, not n- n- nary a word is said. So this is on the script writing um, later. Uh, By the way, that kid blinks twice in that scene. Yeah. And that kid a also child <laughs> blinks twice. In well, that maybe he wasn't quite dead. <laughs> <laughs> he was just uh, mostly dead. <laughs> he was partially dead. Like kind of sort of pregnant. I want to put this up because this kid looks a little bit like Jonathan Lipnicki. Lipnicki yeah, he does. Yeah. The whole time I kept thinking that's Jonathan Lipnicki. Yeah, uh, but it wasn't. Are you going to tell me it's uh, his dad? <laughs> uh, <sorry. laughs> oh, that would have been awesome. Oh, if I only had that information. No. Uh, so uh, let's see. Okay. So later when he's delivering the feed, then he goes out to the, the, the deliverance mansion and he's got the kid in the car next to him. He knows how he died then. So somewhere yeah. that was communicated to him because he's trying to get the old man to give him the, the, address of the witch the witch that lives up in you know, Pumpkinhead Mountain. Uh, the worst Disney film ever made, by the way. <laughs> and Ryan. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I made a note uh, the, the when the when the girl in the trance we think was Cynthia Bain, when she wanders off out like, all the shit's gone down and she wanders off out into the wilderness by herself, right? And she's just oh I'm lost. which again in a situation of high tense intensity, stress, and you think there's a monster out there killing people Wandering off into the woods is um at probably the top. If you're playing uh, Family Feud, it'd be the top two answers given. <laughs> Wandering <laughs> off into wilderness by your lonesome. Right. But good honor. She's going. 
Um, <laughs> now, luckily, the boyfriend chases um chases after her, and she's just lost in a daze. Ah, oh. he holds up a cross in front of her and mumbles some gibberish to her. <clears throat> Snap back to reality. Look, who goes rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> she comes back after just holding a cross in front of her. I, I don't know what that was about. That was a cheap ploy to get this film back on track, and it just didn't work for me. I thought that was so stupid. Um, uh, let's see what else I hear. Uh, one that I thought was so stupid. Uh, when Pumpkinhead jams the girl's head through the window in the kitchen, right? Mm-hmm. The asshole boyfriend and the girl are sitting on the floor, the guy who, the drunk motorcycle guy, and he pushes her head through the window. And they scream, ah, and, they, and they're on the kitchen floor. For some reason, the girl goes unconscious. <laughs> she just goes out. She's out cold. <laughs> now, nothing hit her. Nothing happened. She's just shock, man. Shock. That's what put her in shock. <laughs> Not all the other shit that's going on. <laughs> I like how you're defending this piece of crap. I have no defense. This, uh, is all, this is all covered under my line about every stupid decision that's made in the entire yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, Yeah, just, it just feeds what you said. <laughs> Uh, so then uh, you got uh, the Joel at the end uh, in the in the course of, of fleeing the crime and locking people in a closet. He suddenly becomes an emotional wreck and has to be consoled by uh, the other guy. So, all right, man, we're going to get through this because, again, his, I guess his brother has been taken and he's now he's a mess because it's his brother. Dumb. <laughs> uh, and then um, we get to the end. And uh, the, the one the one guy's uh, running, he's going to go to the motorcycle and he's going to make a run for it. Remember this scene? Yeah. This this yeah. would jolt your memory because luckily, besides being a killing, ravenous, revenge fueled monster, oh yeah, no, yeah I remember. <laughs> Pumpkinhead is aces with motorcycle mechanics. Because he's taken the chain off that allows the motorcycle to drive, and he holds it up with such whimsy, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, like, where are you going now, buddy? Yeah. I, I don't know where this thing would have got that kind of knowledge, but thankfully, it's not explained anywhere in the movie. Yeah. So that's like running behind a wall of chainsaws in that Geico commercial. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that's all I got. And I have a watch this. And if you want to see a better version of a, something dies and bring it back to life and there's a better way to do it let's do a watch this instead let me go find it here i gotta go dig it up hang on one second gary watch okay. this masterpiece if you want to see something about being dug up from the dead and coming back to life a far better film than Pumpkinhead could ever hope to be i don't disagree i mean not that they're the same but they're similar yeah. and the idea that someone dies he wants him to come back and he remember hi oh, daddy uh, this film would deliver so much better than gary's screen behind him and i wanted pumpkin head to be so good i wanted. i it. did too i did too i i mean i i thought i recalled people putting that like on their top 20 lists of favorite horror films and so I went into it thinking, oh, I'm going to revisit this classic that I haven't seen since the video stores, really. Yeah, 89, and, 90. Um, instead, I think it aged uh, horribly. Yeah. And I'm really shocked. Um, I would love to see the defense of this movie, to be honest. Again, I know we might get some hate over this, but um, Good. there's there's tell, two- tell us where we're wrong. I would love to know because this is just. Because I want to know what, how many mountains of cocaine were on a table to make the green light for this. Like, yes, yeah, sounds great. I, I mean, yeah, so stop talking. You got me sold. Pumpkin, I'd love it. Right. Make the movie. Yeah. Here's a bunch of a shit ton of cash. Go make the movie. And then, yeah. hey, let's hopefully sequel the shit out of this thing. Did you, by the way, did you, this was made into a video game? Uh, no, that's hilarious. Uh, so the sequels, we had uh, Pumpkinhead 2, you had uh, Pumpkin Ashes to Ashes, and Pumpkinhead Blood Feud. Uh, there was a comic book by Dark Horse Comics was put out. Video game in 1995, Electronic Arts published a first-person shooter, because why not, for Microsoft Windows called Blood Wings, Pumpkinhead's Revenge. Gary, it is upon you to find this game. Uh, oh, thanks. 19, 1991 uh, model uh, kit was made of the uh, character, blah, 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 and the music. The Misfits used a song, has a song called Pumpkinhead also. 
Uh, that's all I got with that. Hey, um, I'll say the creature on its own is cool looking. Yeah, I mean it. It with a good story. It, it is a I, DOS based game, by the way, Gary. Oh uh, yeah, I'll just whip that Hold right on. out. Let me see if I can put this image up real quick. I'll show you. For those, uh, are Andy, up. I believe it's called Dose. <laughs> I know my. Hang on. <laughs> I just tried to invite somebody into the into the broadcast and there's no reason to do that <laughs> i hit the wrong button uh hold on gary hold on where's it at boom stand hold hold can't. oh can't get it all in stay there on target stay on target it's not going to show i have to send you it to private are going to oh oh yeah we don't have all of it do we Blood wings. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> Pokey. It's rated T for teen. Uh, <laughs> so it's a it's a two based it's a two based system. Gary Dose rated T for terrible. That's it. Uh, hey Parker, out. <laughs> hey, let's uh, let's get some uh, let's get some comments on this one. We want to know what you thought of Pumpkinhead. Do you find it the classic that a lot of people find it, or do you find it garbage like? Uh, like we do. Uh, you don't. And if you do, you're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> if you think this was a good movie, you're wrong. And let us know in the comments how we're wrong. <laughs> like, subscribe, and thanks everybody for watching. Bye. This has been a Touch of Madness production, brought to you by the creative minds at Tommy Twins Media.